Phrasics, especially in professions like doctors, engineers, pilots, most deserving people suffer reservations. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to say this. Doctors, engineers, and pilots are not professions. They're people who are employed respectively in medicine, engineering, and aviation, which are indeed prof Use Grammarly or something, you know? There's no shame in it. I yeah, I use Grammarly. It's pretty good. I mean, she's talking about merit and the pursuit of excellence here, isn't she? Right. As someone who has often been mocked for the lack of posh English speaking skills, as someone who did not benefit from the ideal city girl upbringing or the Bollywood royalty lineage as far as the entertainment industry is concerned, and as someone who has been very outspoken about these issues, you'd think that Kangna will understand the role of privilege endowed by birth. Okay, so I don't know if I agree with this, on this guy because those other po those positions are do need to be by merit only. I think if res uh, reservations should like high focus on education, it shouldn't like when it comes to job applications. If if it's not based on merit and merit alone, this a society is going to suffer, right? So I think again, I think that uh, reservations or quota or whatever you're going to call it should just focus on the root cause, which is the main root cause is the education, right? I mean, I understand that if somebody doesn't have the qualifications because of things that they could not um, control and based on the unfairness of society, like because society was unfair to them and they didn't have the enough, um, you know, the opportunities to get to where other people got to get the skills to become, I don't know, engineers, doctors or whatever. It is unfair to them, but, and you might think like, well, Armin, it's unfair to them. And if you want to fix education, and so, that person has already missed that opportunity. It's too late for him. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be unfair to those individuals, even though it's not their fault. But as a whole, I think the society will suffer if you give jo engineering jobs or medical jobs or any other job to people that are less qualified to adjust for the discrimination, the past discrimination against them, right? Adjusting for this, you know, the effects of discrimination is going to be a very long term investment. And I understand that people want fast results, but you're not going to get fast results. And unfortunately, because you're not going to get fast results, a lot of people that are now unfairly missed out are going to still remain missed out, like still you know the, whatever adjustment you're going to make it's not going to help them the adjustments that you're going to make is only going to show its effect like many many years down the road and unfortunately society has to be patient with that and i know this is unfair to a lot of people it's it is going to be unfair to a lot of people but there's no way there's no other way if you're adjusting the root causes the effect of adjusting the root causes is only going to show itself in the long term, unfortunately. Okay, so I still I don't think that these whole quotas and reservations should be based on job based. It should be education based. So Torell is making up a good point. Torell is saying yes, root causes should be addressed and merit should be the focus. But if nobody will hire a Dalit with a PhD, then the door is still closed. Religion causes market dis uh, dysfunction. Yeah. So the problem is that that is already illegal like it's so that is not um that is that should be at that should be adjusted by hunting down private you know so even if your company is private and not government based it should be illegal for you to discriminate based on the, uh caste so okay so just let's just be clear if i say quotas shouldn't be based on caste quotas should be based on wealth in my opinion i could be wrong that is not the same as me saying that caste-based discrimination should be fought against these are two separate two separate things right yes the government shouldn't be telling corporations in my opinion who to hire based on like to hire based on caste i think that's too much government overreach the government can adjust um, try to help the uh, Dalits by having wealth quotas in education systems. But just because I don't think the government is too much government overreach 
to tell private corporations to hire based on CAS, I do not think it's too much government overreach to hunt down and penalize private companies that are discriminating based on CAS, okay? That is not at all too much government overreach. The government should definitely punish any, any private organization that is discriminating based on caste system. Those are two separate things, okay? Do not, but I'm not saying, Terrell, that you're saying that those are, two, those are two different things. And I think there's a lot of different clever ways to show that a company is, uh, is discriminating based on caste. One of the ways you could do is you could have uh, sending resumes that have, um, you know, to different corporations with the same level of skills but you could definitely, for example, in the resumes, you could put names that show people's casts, and you could do an A-B analysis to see uh, which resumes get the highest callback, and if there's any statistically significant um, difference between the callbacks that upper caste gets uh, compared to outcast, then the government has beyond reasonable doubt that a company is engaging in caste. Um, discrimination and p penalize. Another policy that the government could have is that nameless application, make it a policy that the governments, uh, that the companies do not get to see or know the cast of the people that are hiring, something like that. But I'm not sure if any of that is applicable in modern day. In Ice Age saying you're conflating class discrimination um, Class discrimination and caste discrimination. I didn't. I specifically separated them. What happens to people who have been systematically suffering both? That is why you have reservation. I remember specifically talking about these two separately and saying one does affect the other, but it's completely being like, I, but he, uh, yeah, I don't know. I said, I said, like, when you have class discrimination, like, caste discrimination could be one element of your class discrimination, but it's not the only factor in. So I specifically talked about them separately, so I don't know what you're talking about. I am saying two people on same wealth level will be discriminated if they are both of different castes, thus wealth uh, bias is at window. Um, no, yeah, but the thing is that um, when it comes to discrimination, discrimination, like, I know wealth is not going to be the perfect measure, but it's the closest thing, right? Because whatever wealth you have, you will have more of it. You have opportunity to get more of it without the discriminations that you're facing, right? So, yes, obviously, two pe people of the same wealth, if one of them is upper caste, if one of them is lower caste, the person with the lower caste is going to face more discrimination, right? But... Given what you have to go through to accumulate wealth in your life, given the exact equal opportunities and the same starting point, one person at a lower caste and another person has an upper caste, the person at the upper caste is going to have more, given the same starting point, the person with an upper caste is going to have more opportunities to accumulate wealth. And that's why, but not just caste, any other form of discrimination also is going to remove the opportunities from one side to be able to accumulate wealth. And that's why wealth is not a perfect measure, but wealth is a decent measure compared to all other measures of all the accumulated discriminations that you fa face. Again, if you want to compare individual to individual, there's going to be a lot of exceptions, but as, as a whole, if you want to compare communities to communities, discrimination is going to lead into, you know, you know, different wealth, you know, wealth is a measurement of the access and the freedoms and the power that you have as a whole in a society, you know what I mean? So I think wealth, at the end of the day, all form of discrimination it leads to class discrimination. That's the end result. Uh, well, t uh, wow, I sound like Marx right there. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Aluza, thank you so much for the $2 super sticker. Thank you to uh, Aluza. Um, what's the super sticker? Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. It's uh, Hippo saying one up. Thank you so much. That's very generous. Guys, please make sure you don't give me super chats or super stickers unless you're very financially safe 
and secure okay you can support us by liking this video if you know instead of support uh, instead of financially atheist king 53 saying actually reservation was not in order to help lc guys it was only used by politicians to get votes i mean yeah but that's how you make changes like if uh, what policy is it what policy isn't for politicians to get votes like are you gonna like say no to progress because it's like politicians ways to get votes like yeah that's how you make progress by promising politicians that they're going to get your votes if they pass the policies that you like like what what else <laughs> what else are you going to do you're like hey politicians i'm not going to vote for you just do this out of the kindness of your heart even though i'm not going to vote for you either way if you do it or not like yeah good luck with that <laughs> right uh, I say you're saying yes, but you're forgetting that you don't have equal opportunities to accumulate wealth. That's the issue with the caste system. Yeah, that's my point. What are you talking about? Yes, because you don't have equal opportunities to accumulate wealth, then the caste system is going to result in different wealth levels. I'm not forgetting that. That's my entire point. No, Terrell is saying Atheist Republic, he just made a really good argument. Caste discrimination is affirmative action. In the reverse, because as he said, it makes airlines hire upper caste pilots regardless of skill level. Turil, you have made it like, yes, you're right, Turil. That's a very good way of putting it. Guys, read that. Turil's point should be also framed and put somewhere. The, the caste discrimination is affirmative action in reverse. Well done, Terrell. Well done. That's a very good way of explaining it. Yeah, guys, you guys, some people, some people in the live chat saying reservation is failed, reservation is good, is bad. Again, I, I don't know. I just know quotas and reservations, they work well if they done right. I'm not, I'm not, I, did I endorse it? Did I not start by, in this entire video by saying I don't know? I, I I have no arguments over whether reservation works or not because I haven't looked into it and I haven't done my research on this. Did I not do that? I did do that, right? At the very beginning, right? I just, my claim, again, at the point of a hypothesis, not even a theory because I don't know, I'm not sure, is that quotas and reservation or whatever you want to call it work if they target the root rather than the end result. That's just my guess. I could be completely wrong, and that says nothing about whether the whole reservation thing in India has worked. I know, I think it could work if done right, uh, and if it's done wrong and it doesn't work, that doesn't say that reservations as a whole is a bad idea.